Stephanie. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your builder's closet into a custom closet. Okay, first I need to show you the before. Step one, take an inventory of your closet to see how much space you have available and how you can use the space. Step two, make a list of the things you will want for your dream closet and explore inspiration from places such as House, Pinterest, and in the magazines. Step three, shop around department stores, home improvement stores, and online for a closet system that you adore. Step four, order and purchase your closet system and accessories. Step five, remove everything from your closet, including the old builder's grade wire shelving. I mean everything. Step six, Fill in all the holes in the walls and prepare the walls for paint and wallpaper. Step seven, shop around for storage and hanger ideas. I have some examples on my website and I'll put them down, uh, the link down in the description box. Step eight, assemble the closet. Start with the longest wall. Hang your holding bars into the wall studs. Start hanging your wall boards in the corners first. The corners cannot be adjusted. Continue with the drawers and the shelving and then the hang areas. Step nine, DIY install or have your flooring installed by a professional. Lastly, step 10, begin returning everything back into your closet to its new home. My key to organizing my closet was painter's tape. 
I used painter's tape because it's harmless. And I wrote E for empty and the name or the name for where each item goes. It's time for my dream closet transformation tour. Okay guys, when you first enter my closet area, I'm leaning wall mirror, which is across from the toilet room. All right, here we go. Welcome to my closet. As you enter the room, the first thing you see on the left is my hanging dresses, okay? I have all of my hanging dresses on velvet pink hangers with the rose gold wire hangers. Um, I also have some of my small bags here laying my flat laying bags that are laying um, on the shelvings. So I have my skirts up here. I have sweaters. I have bags and um, oils and lotions and jewelry. Um, I bought this plastic rack for my fingernail polish. And these are some small handbags. You know, you want to just take a small handbag with you. Okay, I keep my literature for dressing, you know, how to dress and catalogs that I like, favorite clothing items inside of this black case. Over here are my lights. These are my automated lights and I'm gonna run my hand up here and you'll see this one flick on. And they just flick on by the feel, okay? Those, I have my Sperry's up top and then I colorized all of my sweaters. As you see, they're layered in colors. I have my short sweaters, my long and thick sweaters, okay? And then I have these boxes. Inside of these boxes, you will find dress gloves, dress scarves, um, winter uh, scarves, um, winter hats. Okay, here is my favorite collection. Is my shoe collection. All right, these are all tennis shoes on this side. I love tennis shoes, you guys. So I have some of my boots down below. What I do, guys, in order to make my boots stand up, I put my boots inside. I put a water bottle, and I'll show you an example. A water bottle inside of my boots. And then I take a black clamp, and I clamp them in the center, and they stand right up. Here I have all of my shorts. I have them folded a certain way and stacked. And all of my eyeglasses and reading glasses are inside of this box. And then I have my trousers hanging from trouser ha hangers. Here is where I put my drawer system. I put my, I took the knobs and I changed them out. And I put my own drawer knobs on there. The only thing I have in these are socks and my shirts, real you know, classy shirts. It's another display I got right there with shoes, purse, and lotions. Then I have all of my suit coats hanging up here on a specific hanger. Um, I have empty boxes at the top. Those are my coach boxes. The only boxes I keep besides those blue boxes you've already seen are my coach boxes. Um, on this shelf here, I have all of my Levi shirts. I love Levi's. I'm not getting any money to say this i'm just letting you know that i love levi's so this shirt is the same shirt and i do that because that's how i like to dress but um all of my white levi shirts with red collars and all of these are levi's stacked up here um some more of the boxes that i keep in here i have hats with bibs on them and then i have more sweaters down here colored from gold to black i keep all of my smell good fragrances here some more boxes and hats my sweater vest and my cardigans and more shoes and purses more coach i love those guys like i said i'm not getting paid for that i'm just telling you my skirts and my dinner jackets all of my long sleeve shirts are kind of gotten color coordinated from light to dark okay and i have my basket right up under it says laundry service i bought this as a rolling cart and what I like about it is that it fits right up under here, okay? I have another basket over here in this corner 
this basket, oh, you probably can't see that good, but this basket holds my uh, shoes that I wear around the house, like house shoes, and more boots. And then over here, I have some black accessories with scarves and silver. So each shelf has somewhat of a different color. But I have all of my stilettos and things and bags and purses over here. Okay? Um, I got some extra pictures so you'll be able to see them good. Those are my jean jackets, my blazers, and trousers. Some more trousers. These are hanging halfway because they're loose trousers. They don't need to be straight. They don't really carry crease. And then I have some of my blouses that I like. And each um, item has a different type of hanger that I use, okay? And here are my dress shoes, some of them. But um, I got those here. Kind of got them by uh, type. Not just color, but type. You know, booties together once with heels out, toes out, you know, and so on and so forth. Peak toes and... And I have some my low cut boots down here, as well as this bag, which carries all of the other bags. Um, this is my glass cabinet that I made. Basically what I did, is I took two ends of the storage closet and then in, in the back of it, I put a mirror on the wall in between them. And then I went to Lowe's and I got the glass shelves cut. Okay, so I try to put a little sparkle on each one. I got a coach box at the bottom. I got my Cinderella shoes here with my purse and some more classy items. And I got my big um, hat for sun up at the top. I also have a letter, guys, that matches my closet. I bought this letter at Home Depot. They're not giving me anything. I'm just letting you know where I got it. Also, you have in the center of the closet, my island. I found this on the corner, guys. And I will um, give you the link to the article that I did on this, which shows how I sanded everything down. Put a um, stain on top, and I painted the sides. I also used some gold leaf, and I kind of washed the gold leaf on the these little symbols that were there. Now, I tell you, I did take these knobs off, okay? I did take the knobs that came with it off and I replaced them with this knob. I did that because this knob matches the knobs over here on that, and that's how I put that together. There are some broken pieces on here, but like I said, I found it on the, on the corner and it was kind of broken a little bit, and I could feel that in, but I didn't want to. It's an old dresser, and guess what? That's exactly how I want it to look. I had my floors redone. There were carpet when I first started, and now they're wood floors. So the reason why I chose the glitter is because I wanted it to sparkle coming off the wall. I didn't want to do the whole thing with wallpaper, but I wanted the wallpaper to appear, you know, in places. I did install the lighting as well. They had two basic lights in here. I ordered these lights. I will give you the link to those as well, and I installed them. Um, they easy to install, you know, black wire with black wire, white wire with white wire. That was it. It was nothing else to it. It's no third switch or anything like that, so they were easy to do. So this idea right here, this is how I came up with the drawer knob designs. So I hope you've enjoyed my closet. I enjoy it every day. There are many more things in here to show you, um, and I will... Do my best in ensuring you know where you can get like items or the item from. Uh, it's been good, and you guys enjoy. Now, I really hope that you enjoyed the tour of the closet. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.